So, pipe cleaners, wire. Cut the wire to 30 centimeters ish, maybe a little bit over, and make sure you curl those ends in. So you grab the end of your um, wire like this, and you just curl it around that tip there. That makes sure that if any little people or anybody that's close to you or animals or anything like that that comes and gets hold of them um, they don't get damaged okay so you also do that on the bit that is left behind as well and never leave your wire uncurled next bit what I want you to do is I am going to get you to go through this little eye there and I want you to start to wind it like that now this is slightly bent it doesn't really matter but I want you to hold your pipe cleaner like that and if you hold your pipe cleaner like that you get used to holding and wrapping in that manner and that's the way I want it done it keeps your tension even right the next bit I've got another little bit of um, leftover pipe cleaner here. Sorry, I'm going to go in the same direction as we've been going and hold it, wrap it round, wrap it round that end a couple of times, come back down, or you can cut it off either or. So the next bit, my loves, is I want you to get your white wool. Now this is your foxy colour and your white wool. Now I'm just going to lift this off a little bit. Oh. So you're going to curl that over that end like that. Okay, so your wool is hanging down like this. You offer your wire and your pipe cleaner up that way. We use the pipe cleaner on the wire basically to get it to grip. And holding the wool in between your thumb and forefinger, you start to wind. Don't worry that it's not right at that end at the moment if it isn't. Holding and keeping this flat, I want you to go all the way down to the end and I want you to wind in this manner. This keeps a fairly even tension. Okay, so we're going to do that and we're going to keep doing that up and down, up and down. So I've flipped it over now, I'm still doing the same as I did before, just with the opposite hand. When we get to the end, we've got this bit hanging down here, we've got our end there. Twist it till that's literally over the end look that's where the end is and we're going to because it's hanging down um at this side you're going to fold it into the opposite side okay and you're going to keep turning keep turning keep turning now i've run out of wool just get a little bit more so if you do if it breaks for any reason don't worry just like that, over the top, just keep turning. And we're going to keep going like this. And we are going to make a long sausage shape, basically, not a sausage shape, um, an unmentionable shape. Let's call it a caterpillar for small ears that are watching. We're going to make a cat caterpillar shape, okay? Silkworm shape. It's quite fat in the middle. Okay. Now, at this end, this is going to be the nose. Okay, so at your nose end, I want it to be thinner than the other end. But you still have to wrap it and you still have to do that foldy over thing and go over, carry on. Now, we're just going to keep going like this for a little while longer. Try and keep it flat. Try and keep all your sections next to each other. Because we're 
winding off a roll um, it's twisting and we want it to lay flat so I'm just gonna pull that off and it just opens the wool out a little bit more and let more air in we don't need this to be rock hard okay so we're going to the end again I'm going to go off that end fold it in because that's his bottom and where we will attach the tail so we do want it covered now this time we're not going to go all the way to the end because if we go all the way to the end so what's that uh, can't see that so that is four centimeters and then we're going to come back up remember add in the same direction as you were going Let's unwrap this wool so that it doesn't end up all twisty Keep going, keep going. Go around that bottom and then straight back up. We're not going to go around twice or anything like that, just round once, straight back up. Okay, you can see that this is not as tight as tight and I don't want it to be because we want a bit of sculptural leeway in this so you can see like that you can see it's still fairly firm but it's and it we've knocked a bit of air out of it but we haven't knocked it so <coughs> excuse me tightly right so we're going back up again we went to the same place as last time and we started coming back up. Well, nearly there now, chaps, nearly there. So there we are. I'm coming that way. So I'm going to add that bit in and wrap it round. And straight back up again. until I've used all my white I'm going back up again I'm not going all the way down to that end again look it's a, it's the middle bit really that's important that this gets fat okay so we've got to the end of our white and now what we're going to do is we're going to needle fill it down We're just going to go over that and just lock those fibres down a little bit. Just smooth them off a bit. But you can see we've got a silkworm. Okay, so I'll be back with the next bit and how to get you to that bit. Okie doke. Bye.